Hi, everybody, and thank you very much for uh, welcoming us today. I think uh, it's, it makes lots of sense after the, the session that you've did just followed regarding uh, AI in insurance to see a uh, practical application on a specific use case, which is insurance pricing. So I don't know if there are any actuaries in the room. Maybe one, two. <laughs> don't worry, the other ones can stay as well. Um, but I'm going to start this presentation by the voice of the client. Uh, and especially the two last clients that, that went into production with our solution. The first one, uh, it's a Colombian company, told us on the first day, uh, I did the work of three months in three hours. Second one, uh, which is a company in France, told us that they managed to build 200 production ready uh, pricing models in just two weeks, what they would have done in more than a year before. And so that's our promise at Accurate. That's really our ambition. It's to revolutionize insurance pricing, leveraging what we call transparent AI. And in other words, what we are, what we are doing is leveraging machine learning to produce in an automated way models that are the same models that are created on a daily basis by actuaries, which are GAMs or GLMs, which are fully transparent by design. And this is our value proposition. So before uh, before getting to the, to the presentation and the demo of the solution, let me quickly introduce uh, the company itself. So we are an InsurTech. We are based uh, out of Paris, as you can hear uh, from my accent. Uh, we spent more than four years R&D uh, in developing algorithms for this very specific use case of insurance pricing. So we are dedicated to insurance, PNC, uh, personal lines, commercial lines, and health and dedicate it to one specific use case, which is, which is pricing. And we invested lots of efforts in R&D to, uh, to work on building the only algorithms that can automate uh, this pricing process in a transparent way. Uh, so we've got a very strong uh, R&D DNA. Uh, our, our team is composed of data scientists, actuaries, developers, all experts uh, in, insurance, uh, in insurance pricing. We developed a solution that is delivered in a software as a service mode, but it's a solution for business users. So we're not like a data science platform. All users are uh, the, the, the actuaries or people working in, in pricing for insurance companies. We've got clients in production, uh, building all the risk models with Accurate uh, in different countries, uh, in different geographies, in Europe, in, uh, in South America, and we are engaging now in the US and in, uh, in Asia. Uh, one of the public reference I can quote is uh, AXA Group, which is using Accurate uh, in production uh, with, uh, within multiple countries. And that's something that is very important. When I say using Accurate in production, it means that they are using the models that are produced in an automated way by the machine learning algorithms directly into production. And this is, uh, this is th the reason why they can do that is because those models are fully transparent. They can be fully understood. Um, Last point that is quite important. Uh, we raised our Series A last, last week, uh, which is a major step uh, on our side. So in total, we raised uh, 10 million euros, uh, which will allow us to continue our international expansion and to continue to develop the, the solution itself. So I'm going to, to, uh, to pass the word to, to Bryn for the next one. Thank you. So why we developed this, that solution? Why we started the project? Definitely we see uh, in the insurance industry that the pressure is increasing on the profitability of the uh, insurance product because of low interest rates. But we see uh, also a complexity in terms of customer behavior, new disruptive competitors and direct players on the market that really increasing the pressure on the insurance company and on the pricing sophistication, on the pricing for insurance product. So it's a trend. It's absolutely true in the UK, definitely, but same in the rest of the Europe. And uh, we saw a huge opportunity to improve that process and to support insurance company to build more accurate, uh, more sophisticated models for their uh, insurance product. But today, the pricing process the actuarial process is still very iterative, very long, sometimes inefficient, because it's still manual. And it's still manual because classical machine learning approach cannot be applied for pricing 
process cannot be applied for risk modeling. Actuaries, insurance companies need to fully understand the model that they are creating. They need to explain to the regulator, to explain to the customer how they build the technical pricing, how they build their pricing, and, and they cannot trust a black box model uh, in production. So this is the reason why we spend so many years working on specific algorithm to build transparent model that can be used in production for pricing for insurance companies. So as an output uh, within our solution, we are really capable to combine best of both worlds. Uh, meaning that on one side, we can fully leverage all the benefits of AI and uh, applied machine learning. Uh, which are, of course, first one, capability to automate, which has a direct impact on reducing the, the time to market for, for pricing. Second one, capability to uh, remove any boundaries in terms of, of capability to process data. So we can process huge amount of data because we are fully leveraging the cloud capabilities and uh, the algorithms that will automate uh, the, the, modeling, the, the modeling. And also, and last point, we are going to also be able to increase the precision of the modeling, meaning building models that are much more predictive, allowing insurance carrier to better understand their risk and then to better uh, cover their risk afterwards. And so these are typically the benefits of, of machine learning, but at the same time, we keep all the benefits of the actuarial approach, meaning full transparency and control on the models created, which is quite important, as Bruno mentioned, for regulatory purpose and for, to, to avoid adverse selection. We keep also quite easy integration into the, into, with, into the existing uh, legacy, legacy systems because what we have as an output are exactly the same models uh, as the models that, that could be created by actuaries. So that's, that's, that's really what makes a, a, huge, uh, a, huge, uh, a huge difference with, with the solutions. So for, for the business user, it will have the, the same kind, of, uh, the, the same kind of, of, of view, the same kind of graph, the same kind of models that are created, but all all the, all the modeling piece is fully, fully automated. Uh, and when I talk about business users, this is also something that is very important and that is key uh, with, this, uh, with this approach of applying machine learning and, and AI on this pricing process, is that what we can automate with, uh, with AI is all the data-driven part of the process. Uh, but we are not replacing actuaries. It's, it's not possible. We need. Uh, people, we need actuaries to apply their business knowledge, their knowledge of the portfolio, their knowledge of how the model should behave uh, to, to, uh, to, uh, to create a model that, that can be put into, into, into production. So, so what, we are going to, what we are going to do is uh, empower the actuary, allow him to do, him, to do his job much better, much faster, uh, and to focus on what really makes the difference and to, at the same time to automate all the, the painful part uh, within the within the pricing process, and which is the the, the most time-consuming part, but which does, doesn't bring lots of value because it can be automated as it's fully uh, fully data-driven. So uh, I, we are we are now going to uh, to show you a, a quick demo that will be done by Ramon or one of our data scientists. So, 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 okay, no, not yet. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you. Um, uh, I, I will say when, when we can start the video. Thank you. So um, uh, as, as Samuel said, thank you. I will now uh, present a demo of uh, our solution. Just uh, to emphasize before, before beginning, so um, um, some of you will probably recognize the types of graphs that I will show. This is because um, in building our tool, the main constraint that we had is precisely to build uh, GAMs, so generalized additive models. Um, OK, so can we start this, the demo? Okay, so currently there are three different modules in the Accurate uh, tool. That's data, modeling, and aggregation. As an actuary, the first thing that I have to do is upload the database. I can then uh, inspect the variables in the database. I can also edit them by uh, grouping, capping, reordering them, or uh, creating new variables. After I have uh, finished the data preparation, I can proceed to the modelization. Um, I will create a frequency model. Um, it could have been severity, um, propensity, etc. So uh, in the pipeline that Accurate suggests to me, um, I have to choose the variables that I do not want to uh, take into account in the modeling. 
that um, Accurate uh, also um, has a geographic uh, modeling tool, so I can exclude the regional variables in this first stage. Now here comes the main part of the modeling, uh, pre-modeling, which is uh, defining the range of variables that I, will, uh, that I want my, my models to have. In this case, we will build 35 models with between five and 25 variables. Accurate has its, uh, its own mathematical framework and algorithm to efficiently solve uh, this uh, problem and find the models, and the process took about half an hour, and I can parallelly do other projects. This is the, um, the result of the computation. In this grid search, each point is uh, one of the 35 uh, models. We have the performance as a function of the number of variables, and we can see the typical trade-off between complexity and performance. So the first task is to choose one of the family, the, and then inspect the models in order to find which is the model that captures the, uh, the signal and no noise. So for example, in this case, the driver age uh, variable in this, uh, in this model uh, has some overfitting, and we can see that in the wiggling of the coefficients. Hence, I can uh, increase the smoothness until, uh, until finding a model that uh, makes total sense and is uh, explainable. So uh, by doing this process, uh, we, might, uh, we, we might find that uh, we have a variable like number of claims last year, in which we see that the most risky levels are grouped together. Um, this is, uh, might clearly be a risk b uh, because of the adverse selection that it may imply. So we have the edit coefficients tool that uh, we can use precisely in the cases where the lack of exposure means that we have to group the, statistically we have to group the levels. And so we can bring our actuarial expertise in order to not only have uh, a model that makes sense, but also that can be used in our actuarial business. Once we have chosen the model, we can uh, add some uh, new features like ge interaction, geography, etc. In this particular case, for the geography, we have to give the latitude and longitude of our geographical variable in the database. And it was, uh, in this case, the zip codes of the United Kingdom, which, uh, well, happens to be a very granular geographical variable. So again, in this, in this case, uh, Accurate built uh, different uh, model, geographic models with different uh, levels of smoothness. And so we can inspect them until finding one that uh, captures the, the, enough the geographic signal. In this case, I followed the typical pipeline proposed by Accurate and ended up with a model that uh, makes sense to put into production. So I can export it. And in particular, I can export the documentation um, in order to discuss, for example, with the team before putting it into production. This is an editable PowerPoint with uh, information about the, general information about the model. It has the score on the k-fold cross-validation, but also on the test set of our database. There is also information of, on the variables. We can see here the interaction variables. And also throughout the tool, we have a documentation note where we can uh, add some comments, and they will be also exported in this documentation. Hence, Accurate is, uh, the Accurate engine is a data-driven software that, uh, is, uh, that uh, creates models uh, for actuaries to inspect and edit um, according to uh, their expertise to finally put these models into production, um, greatly reducing the time uh, of modeling and also um, improving um, the performance. Thank you. It's always a challenge to do a demo of this solution in only five minutes, as you can imagine. Uh, so we have plenty of feature, additional feature within the solution dedicated for pricing for insurance um, companies. Uh, the main KPIs that we have, uh, at least 10x faster to build the risk models. So it's not only an improvement, it's really a paradigm change on the way that you can use the, the risk models to manage your portfolio, to refresh your pricing, to, to, to discuss with the distribution, with the management. Uh, it's, it's really a new way to use risk modeling, risk model in your daily uh, activities. And also the second KPI is the, the increase of the predictive power the Gini, it, the, the most common uh, KPI for the predictive power of the risk modeling, but an increase on the, on the model accuracy to be sure that you capture all the signal and you are able to build models that are the most accurate possible. But definitely, uh, 
this KPI makes sense if you, if you keep full transparency on the models that you are creating. Because you can improve performance if you don't understand the model that you are creating, you will never use it in production for pricing purpose. So it's because we keep transparency, full control on the model created that this KPI makes sense and can help you to do uh, the pricing model in a different way. So I think that we have three minutes for questions. Uh, if you have, but before many thanks for your time and for attending the session. Maybe do you have any question for us? No question, no comment. We will be there uh, <laughs> at the booth if you have any question or if you want to have a full demo from Ramon uh, on, on the solutions that we just presented. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.